2019, Tom Vial was MX2 Rookie of the Year, finishing fourth in the championship. He comes into 2020 as the favourite for the world title. But with all eyes on Tom, can the young Frenchman handle the pressure and lead KTM's championship bid? My dad was on the motocross and I was on the race and I was see like the professional rider and everything so I was yeah I want to do the same. When you, when you were young did you think that like this was this was going to happen? No for sure no I was not imagine like like so much like that. What what did you imagine when you did you have dreams when you were yeah, for sure. When I was small, I was really dreaming to, to ride motocross at high level, but yeah, it was, it was a dream. My dad, since I'm small, he went all the time to the training with me, a lot of, of traveling. So yeah, it's just amazing. He was also riding, you know, on the GP, he finished just in the, in the championships, he wins some GP, but he never won champion. Oh, nice, huh? very nice, huh? beautiful. Huh? For me, it's, uh, I would like to ride eh, for the second race. <laughs> Fred puts Tom's gear up for second race. I change me, no Tom. For me, it's quite important. Then they are there, come at the race, they watch. My dad helped me a lot, my brother also, my mom. So for me, it's quite important. Outside, he seems really calm and maybe shy, but for sure he's not shy. He's a funny guy, <laughs> but a lot of people don't know it. Uh, <laughs> just turn around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I say, okay, 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 go. <laughs> okay. He's modest, uh, feet on the ground. When he signed the deal with Red Bull KTM Factory Racing, he really realized immediately, like, hey, this is a, only a start. Yeah, when I was small or so, like Tony and Jeffy, I was looking all the time at the TV and every race. So now to, to know yeah, each other, it's really, it's really crazy for me. Of course, Tom last year did a very nice championship and this year is going for the title. Everybody thought, like, mm, uh, Tom who? Last year, I was like, whoa. Who's that kid, you know? This kid, helmet on, just go and he surprised so many people. The first Grand Prix of 2020 about to kick off. And it's uh, KTM, Vial, set the first box hole shot. Mistake there from Vial. Yago Kitz is going to go through. Here is your overall Grand Prix winner. Tom had a crash uh, after the triple, so that was a little bit of a gift. But uh, yeah, it's nice to start the GP season with a win. In the first races, it looked like, for me at least, that, that Yago was still the better one. Tom Vial, second overall. Everybody was like, well, Yago Gitz is going to win. Tom's closest rival is Yago Gitz. The world junior champion has more experience in MX2 and finished ahead of Tom last season. Sometimes you saw the race from guys. Yeah. It carried a lot of momentum outside of it. Slow, you know? The team below from Yago Pierce. The riders already making their way to the line. There is your championship leader, Yago Kitz. 
there is Tom Vial. These two now separated by six points. Vial making the most of that foxhole shot, already starting to disappear. Vial leads. Yago Kiets right then. Oh, and the challenge for the lead. We're back on song. Vial is on the ropes. Yago Kiets all over the back of the Frenchman. And he goes to the inside. We have a new race leader, Yago Kiets. You really made Yago Hitz work hard, but you couldn't quite hold on to that lead, could you? And looking forward for the second race. But once again, it is Vial behind. Oh, Gitz goes down. Gitz gets high sided. So Vial leads. Oh, yeah, he's going to win the MXGP of the Netherlands at Falcons One. Tom Vial, the new series leaders in MX2. Tom was more in control. He made less mistakes. He took consistent starts. I didn't think we can achieve it that quick with Tom, but uh, he surprised everybody. It's Vial who will win the Grand Prix. It was clear uh, pretty soon that it was going to be a two-man battle. And that doesn't always make it easier, because that means that mistakes are becoming more expensive. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Latvia. This is the MXGP of Riga. Championship leader, Tom Vial, 22 points clear. That's almost a race. Thiago Kiet, Monster Energy Yamaha, just going through that little routine of his. It's Vial who leads, and he's looking good again at the uh, sharp end. But it's Tom Vial who leads the way here. Kiet shadowing Tom Vial. Again, here, it's looking good here, goes to the inside. Right down, right down. Come on, Tom! Red Bull KTM in second position. Yago Kietzo takes victory. Vial, not going to make the podium, but he will maintain the championship lead. The most important thing what we uh, took with us from Latvia is that Tom made a very important step on the mental side because he really accepted and understood that you have to be allowed to lose. After six rounds, Tom's championship lead has been cut to just three points. In MX2 with Iago Gertz, they are very, very close. And it's a great course every time. Et, euh, et là, il a repris un petit peu de points. C'est un beau circuit, mais pas facile aussi. Ouais, hein. ouais, ouais, pas, il, il creuse pas mal, hein. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Il creuse pas mal, ouais, c'est cool. From a, from a 20 something points lead down to three points, and yeah, then the nerves getting a bit tight for myself also, and for his dad and, and everybody. But Tom never showed. It. It's his third Grand Prix win of the season. You've extended that championship lead to 21 points. Yeah, it was a fantastic day. It's the first time to do one and one. He just had it in control at one point, and Yago started to do more mistakes, more crashes. Oh, and Dirk uh, Gitt struggling to pick his bike up. He wins his fourth Grand Prix of the season. This also was a turning point for the strength in the head. You know, he started to believe, I'm better. Tom kept up high level of consistency, really limited the mistakes. He has stalled the bike. Even if he made a mistake, he still came away with it well. A winner, and again here in Spain. And Yago, he should have won those three GPs in Lomo. That's his place. Tom Vial, two wins in a row here in Belgium. 
seeing him doing what he did really made me believe that he was able to take the fight to the finish if needed. The championship comes down to three final rounds in one week in Italy. Iago wins the first Grand Prix, but Tom can claim the title at the penultimate Grand Prix of the season. Tom Bial could be crowned world champion in this race if all the cards fall correctly. On paper, it sounds simple. Tom Bial wins, and Niago hits second. Bial is champion. I had a little penalty so on the practice, so then I start last on the gate. It's really difficult from outside to start good. Bial is about three over, four over on the right-hand side there, on the left. Before she went down, I was like, OK, this is a race of my life, and I need to win. Vial right away from the outside, and look at that. He pulls a foxhole shot, adrenaline pumping through the veins of Tom Vial. And he leads. Viago Kids is seeing all kinds of problems here. So Vial leads the way. Vial going into his penultimate lap here. He is on the verge of realising a childhood ambition. And he's just two corners away. He will win the MX2 World Championship. He can't believe it. Actually, when Tom uh, crossed the finish line, so I, I couldn't share my emotions. I'm, I'm an easy crier. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't say in 2020 you're going to be world champion. I, I didn't think we can achieve it that quick with, the, with Tom, but uh, he surprised everybody. To win it once is, is a huge step, but sometimes to defend it is even the bigger step. If I had a good winter, I'm going to improve physically, so I'm going to be more strong. Yeah, we're gonna see what's what's happened. Twenty twenty was one of the most challenging seasons in the history of the MXGP Championship. The pandemic, injuries, and bruising triple header Grand Prix made competition more intense than ever before. My plan is to keep riding because I feel still great, you know, and I still enjoy a lot. Hopefully we, we are clear to push um, next year. I don't have 15 more years of racing in me. I don't even have 10 years. I go within that without expectations. You know, I think I really need to start enjoying a bit more. Don't have to take many risks to be fast enough. Don't make too many mistakes. This, this MX2 class is really competitive, but I still have to learn, you know. I think this is a goal to always uh, ride focus. Try to ride, let's say, on the maximum. We had some up and downs, but it was a solid year for learning. Made me physically and, and, and mentally stronger. 2021 will be a good year because I will ride my bike a lot. <laughs> As the final flag falls on 2020, the riders are already preparing for the battle to become the next champion of the MX world. Bye, thank you very much. <laughs>